we are on set with Jennifer Runyon on Silent Night, Bloody Night 2. Yeah. Hello, Jennifer. Thank Hello. You for us. Thank you. It's nice to be here. One of your first films was the Christmas slasher to All a Good Night. Yes. What was it like working for director David Hess? And do you have any fond memories from the shoot? I do, actually. David was great. Um, you know, it was my first movie, so he gave me my first break. Um, we all stayed in the mansion that we actually filmed in, so it was constant, you know, togetherness, so there was no getting away from anything. Um, we worked, there were no regular hours, we worked constantly till we finished the day's work. Um, but it was the first job I ever had, it's all I knew. I, I loved the experience and I'm grateful I had the opportunity to do it. Awesome. Well, one of your most famous roles was in the classic Ghostbusters. Yeah. How did you become involved in that movie? Um, I got the call to audition for this movie um, with Bill Murray. And I, I was like, oh, well, hi, of course. I love Bill Murray, absolutely. So I went in and, and I interviewed with Ivan Reitman. And they filmed me. And I didn't hear anything for the longest time. So I just figured I didn't get the part. But about a month and a half, two months later, um, they called and said, you're going to New York, and we'll see you on set. And it was a great experience. Bill Murray was probably the funnest person I've ever <laughs> worked with. And he and I actually went to the Union Station in uh, downtown Los Angeles, and he convinced the conductor of the uh, Amtrak train to let us drive it. A little fun story. <laughs> fun That's amazing. Fact. That does sound like a lot of fun. It was fun. Um, later, you were a staple on a lot of TV shows. One in yeah. particular was Charles in Charge. Yeah. Uh, what led to TV acting, and do you prefer it over acting in movies? Um, you know, I really enjoyed sitcom work. I, I love the multicam. I think it's fun to film in front of a live audience. I also love movies because I like, I like, um, I like it when you can have the time to take to make a scene right. But I also love fast pace, and that's what um, To All a Good Night was. That's what a movie I did with um, a family member, Roger Corman, Carnosaur, was like. It was boom, boom, in and out. And that's kind of a fun way to work because you don't have time to overanalyze what you're doing. You just go for it. Well, speaking of Carnosaur, that was actually your last IMDb credit, and it yeah. was with Corman Studios. <laughs> yep. um, why don't you enlighten us a little bit what it was like working with family, and did you consciously decide to take a break after that? I did. I Well, I Roger asked me to do the movie, and I thought, well, this will be great. I'm pregnant, and this will be the last thing I'm going to do because I'm going to stay home and take care of my kid, and, um, and that's exactly what I did. But it was really fun. I had a great time working with Roger's company, um, but it is exactly that. You are in and out, and you better know what you're doing, and, you know, it, it's, it's a great way to learn. I, I enjoyed the experience. Great. Um, well, obviously, you just completed filming on your role in Silent Night, Bloody Night. <laughs> yeah. Did you have any specific challenges with this part? Um, well, you know, I thought it would be fun to just make her <laughs> a little nuts. Um, you know, I just I wanted to have fun with it. I, I, I was wanted to just try something different. I, you kind of got me out of my retirement. You dusted off the, uh, the cobwebs, so to speak. I did a little play a couple months back, but um, to be back on camera was, was fun for me, and it's been a long time, so I had a great time. Um, well, as far as the Christmas stuff goes, you have mentioned publicly your love for Christmas-themed movies. Can you yeah. elaborate a little bit on that? Oh, I, I, Tebow, DVR, whatever you call it now, every Christmas, every horror Christmas. I love anything Halloween and Christmas. I have a little bit of a sickness. I have to decorate to the nines every, every holiday like that. But, um, yeah, this was really fun. I find it kind of interesting that I started on a horror movie with Santa Claus, and I don't know if I'll ever do another movie again, so if this is my last one, how funny that I ended this with the way I started. Well, we are definitely honored that you took part in this uh, sure. I'm just, I'm so honored you asked me. Thank you for having me, and I really love Nebraska. You guys are all amazing. Go Huskers. <laughs> how would you compare us maybe to LA, like as far as your filming experience? Oh. Well, <laughs> I gotta, I shouldn't say too much, but um, you guys are just easy. It's easy going, and, and everybody's just 
wanting to have fun and do a good job and um, I just really enjoyed it. it. It's, you know, it's, it wasn't intense, like, you know, you, you weren't nervous. It was, you made it easy for everybody and, and I really appreciated the opportunity. Awesome. Well, then finally, I'd like to end it with if there's anything you'd like to say to your fans. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for remembering me. Um, it touches me every time somebody says something kind and remembers something I've done. It was a long time ago, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Again, it was an honor. We were very grateful to have you involved in our film. Aw, thanks.